This is my review of the ASRock X79 Extreme 6 motherboard. I'll give you guys a quick look at the box. This is the Game Blaster Edition. PCI 3 X79 chipset. Let's look at the bottom. Socket 2011. Oop. Top and the back just shows a little bit. There we go. I'm pointing out some of the features of the motherboard. There is about the game blaster. And then some of Azrock's other features. And then on the bottom, what other people have said about this motherboard. Okay, that's the outside. Now let's get into the inside. Okay, first things first, flip the top. And set that off to the side. Okay, so got the rear I.O. shield got a software setup guide here's the installation guide for the motherboard it's in many different languages here's a driver disk and we have I can just get it open. Okay, there is a SLI bridge. And then this is a three-way SLI bridge. There's a back panel USB 3.0 uh, PCI slot if you choose to use that. We've got SATA uh, there's two in here and two in here. So we've got a well outfitted there. And then this is a front panel USB 3.0. This can also be taken apart and then used in the back with this one. And then it's a, it's got the, uh, there it is, the header in there. Here's the Game Blaster, an ASRock exclusive. It's just a little PCI 1 slot, and then it's got a premium audio as well as a secondary Ethernet point or Ethernet port as well. And then the motherboard. Let me get this out of that protective bag. And there's the motherboard out of the anti-static bag. It's got a nice foam padding around it, and which covers most of the bottom as well too. I'm not sure why it leaves out that center part. But. And then taking a look. First of all, we've got a 24 pin connector up here. And then we've got eight DIMM slots. There's the uh, socket for the processor. And up top, there's an eight pin processor power. Up here, we've got a fan header there. And coming along down, 
We've got a Molex power here for PCI Express. Then we have one, two, three PCI Express 16, one PCI Express by one, and two PCI slots. Coming along down here, we've got. Let's see, I'll bring the board up a little closer. There we go. We've got HD audio there. Com, IR, there's front 1394, there's USB, 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 and then there's another fan header there, the front panel connectors, and there's the, well, before that, the digital readout, then the front panel connectors. We've got a power and a reset button. We've got another fan header there, and another fan header there, one is the four pin. And then we have SATA ports. There's two, four, six, eight total SATA ports. There we are. Here is the cooler for the South Bridge. And this X fan, it claims it only comes on when it needs it. So under normal circumstances, it should be silent. There's a USB 3.0. There's another SATA 3, 6 gigabits a second. And that pretty much will round out the board. Oh, the top there, we've got a CPU fan header and another 3 pin fan header. So I'll kind of zoom in again and we'll take another run at the board for all you guys. Rather, guys and gals. Okay, now let's take a look at the rear I.O. We've got built-in sound as well as that Game Blaster audio, so you could either use either or. I'm going to use the Game Blaster personally. We've got USB 2.0, we've got two of those, and then we've got a eSATA and a Firewire. There's two more USB 2.0s and then a gigabit LAN, four USB 3.0s, we've got optical audio and then we've got coaxial audio, USB 2.0, or excuse me, P, uh, PS2 ports, we've got a clear CMOS here, that'll round out the back of it. So this board obviously will support 3-way SLI or TriFire. That'll give another good look at it. Okay, so that is the ASRock Extreme 6 motherboard socket 2011 X79 chipset. I'm going to be using this in an upcoming build. And we're going to be putting the 3930K in there. And then we'll have 16 gigabytes of RAM as well. I'm going to populate four of the slots. And then I'm going to be doing a 580 uh, SLI with the two. And actually I'm going to be using the two 580s that I have in my current computer. I'm going to be putting those in here. And then I'm going to do a RAID 0 on a pair of Samsung SSDs at 128 so we'll get 256 gigabytes out of that and I'm going to do a RAID 1 with two 2 terabyte Western Digital hard drives and then that way I'll have some security on that data so I will start getting on that build and I'll probably be doing some more videos with that particular build and as always thank you for watching